Okay, so welcome back to another video. In today's video, we have the following um, integral. Instead, this time this is um, with nested integrals. So we have the square root of the, um, ln of m of 1 minus x divided by the square root of ln of m uh, 1 minus x, and then so on and so forth. Again, it's nested. So um, this is actually very, a, the sim a method that we're going to do is it's very similar to what I just did with the continued fractions from a couple videos ago. We just do a substitution, solve for that variable on its own, and transform it into an, um, with a different variable of that integral, and then um, compute that definite integral like the way it should be. So that's basically like the simplest, the most simplistic method that we can actually do from here. So with that, let's actually start by defining, um, well really we'll let i equals this same integral given. So i is our given integral over here. So let's say if we do a substitution, how about I'll let, we'll call y is equal to um, the square root of ln of of um, ln of 1 minus x to the power m and then divide that and of course nest it so we're just using it's using the same um in the same um radicals over and over and over again so we call this y and it's continued so we could just replace this with y and so now we can actually just solve for y on its own from here so what i'll do is of course we just square both sides so y square is equal to um ln to the power ln to the power m of 1 minus x and then divide by y then just multiply y to both sides y cubed is equal to ln of m and then 1 minus x and then of course from here you just take the cube root of both sides so you get that y is just equal to ln ln of um so so now the exponent would have to be um m divided by 3 of 1 minus x. Okay, so now we can just substitute our nested um, radicals for our y value over here. So now we have, this is just the integral 0 to 1 of ln of m divided by 3 of 1 minus x dx. All right, so now from here that we're going to integrate this, we would perform a u substitution. So what I can do is, well, I'll call this variable t really, but the method is still the same, of course. So we're going to actually define this as negative t. So I let negative t, I let negative t equals um, the natural log of 1 minus x, right? Okay, so if I want to solve for, um, now of course we're going to do some substitution and replace some things. So that means I'll take um, the e base to both sides, so then this will be e to the negative t, then that's equal to just 1 minus x. And then I'll subtract, um, subtract 1 and then divide negative 1, so if we do this then we have that this is just that x is equal to um, 1 and then minus e to the power negative t. All right. Now, from here, I can actually just differentiate both sides. So we have that dx is equal to just uh, e to the negative t dt. And now, performing the and now after performing the substitution, we can actually, uh, the, um, the u substitution, then we can actually put some pieces back and substitute everything from here. Okay, and then, so let's see. We have, the, we have our new integral, and we have to calculate our new bounds too. So if we said zero, uh, for x, so let's see, that will just be 0, and now um, if I let uh, 1 equals x, so that means this is ln of 0, so that approaches negative infinity, but that actually changes that to positive, so we have positive infinity, okay? And now we have the natural log 1 minus x, we set that equal to negative t, so we replace that with negative t, and then to the power m divided by 3, replace with our dx, so that will, which was, we said that that was e to the negative t dt, okay. And of course we can distribute the exponents into our negative t, so now that this is just, um, we have a negative 1 to the power m divided by 3, then multiply with t m to the power, um, or t to the power m divided by 3, and then e to the negative t dt. And here we have a constant over here, so I'll just move that outside the integral. So negative 1 m divided by 3 with our integral from 0 to infinity 
of t to the power m divided by 3, then times e to the negative t dt. So now over here, um, negative 1, if we can actually convert this into polar form, that's the same thing as rewriting it as um, e to the power i times pi, and then m divided by 3. Then over here, um, 0, infinity, t, m over 3, e to the negative t dt. Notice that this um, this integral form is special since that's in a form of the um, gamma function. Um, so if we said that this is, um, it's in the form of the, the um, improper integral from zero to infinity of t to the power some um, number n, then um, e to the e to the negative t, then dt. So that means that um, the variable n, the number we'll have to represent m divided by three, that's equal to gamma of uh, one plus n. Here we have that n is just equal to um, one gamma of one plus m over three. So over here, it's gamma of one plus m over three. But also in other words, we can also say that that's actually equal to, um, so in the case of gamma of one plus n, that's the same thing as um, n factorial. So we can just replace that with n divided by three factorial, right? And now we can substitute some things. But not only that, um, before we get to that, e to the i power i, we expand this using Euler's formula and then distributing the exponent using the Morbier's formula, then we can see that um, we get that, of course, I can say that it's e and then i, then um, pi m divided by 3, multiply with gamma of 1 plus m divided by 3, then expanding further, this is just, um, so we know that this is um, m divided by 3 factorial, so I'll put this out here first. And then we can multiply this with the Euler, uh, um, Euler formula expansion, so that's just cosine of um, pi m divided by 3, then plus i times sine of pi m divided by 3. And just like that, we have our final answer of the evaluated integral that we've been given, like so. All right then, yep. So same method, just like the continued formula, but we just continue fractions, but we're doing like, you know, a different integral like so. So this is what we get, so yeah. Uh, that's uh, pretty cool if you ask me.